Tonight, Senate lawmakers got a chance to grill top IRS officials today over the agency's targeting of conservative groups and an admission from the Obama administration that key players in the White House were, in fact, informed of the scandal ahead of time. John Walkie reports. Three men were on the hot seat today, including J. Russell George, the Treasury Department Inspector General who submitted the report detailing the IRS scandal, and outgoing agency head Stephen Miller. Douglas Shulman also testified. Shulman was the one running the IRS when agents were targeting conservative groups. Today's hearings were the first opportunity for lawmakers to question Shulman. He left the IRS last November when his five-year term ended. I intend to get to the bottom of what happened. We will follow the facts and see where they take us. Senator Baucus called on the men to account for the scandal that has, quote, lost the public's trust. Today's hearing comes a day after the White House admitted that the IRS did inform senior officials in the Obama administration of the inappropriate scrutiny, including a top White House lawyer, Catherine Rumler. She reportedly made the call not to inform the president. She made the decision uh, or the judgment that it was not necessary or appropriate to inform the president of this. The White House had previously maintained that it first learned of the scandal through press reports. Republicans questioned that claim from the beginning. John Waggy, CBN News.